Trust me. Hi, welcome to another edition of Between Two Ferns. My name is Zach Galifianakis. Um, my guest today is Justin Bieber. Thank you, Justin, for being on. It's uh, really exciting to talk to you, especially right in the middle of your public meltdown. Are you going to say anything? Yeah. I just have never interviewed a seven-year-old before, so. What was the last toy you got in a Happy Meal? I don't think I've ever ordered a Happy Meal. Yeah, me either. I don't like that junk. Are you sure? You know what I was doing when I was your age? Finishing fourth grade. Your young punk attitude is not going to work in this interview. You understand me, son? Okay. When you're in a concert, what are you thinking on stage? Sometimes I'm really like, damn, I wish I was watching Cops right now. Mm -hmm. Do you ever accidentally sing that instead of your lyrics? I wish I was watching Cops right now? No, usually, usually I'm just killing it. Is it fun to be cocky? When you're in the recording studio, do you ever think, um, hey, what if I don't make something shitty? Is that ever, does that pop into your mind in the, in the process? Um, the fact that I, I'm able to make music and inspire people, um, I feel like music is like a sixth sense. It's like that movie? You've had three hairstyles. What's next for your career? So you think that <clears throat> my hairstyles are the only thing that's happened in my career? Who are your celebrity friends? Who do you hang with? Uh, mostly lately, um, Joy Behar, pretty much it. What's he like? Cool. You affectionately refer to your fans as beaners. N no believers. Yeah, that makes more sense. You said recently that Anne Frank could have been a believer. <clears throat> I'd went to um, the Anne Frank Museum, and they'd said that she was into pop culture. And, and at the end of, of an over a two-hour visit, I said, I, I hope she would have been a believer. Not Did you mean that if the Nazis had not taken her and she lived to be in her 80s, she would have liked your music, presumably due to you know loss of hearing? Or, because I can see how this could get lost in translation, I think that you were talking about time travel and that you think that if you could build a machine and go back to visit Anne Frank, she would have been a believer then. Is that, is that true? Because I don't know what to believe. I want to be a time traveler. You got caught on tape peeing into a, a, a bucket. <clears throat> Here's the thing. There hasn't been a time in the last six, seven years that I haven't urinated in a bucket but I don't film it and put it on, on, on internets. You know what? I don't like your attitude, to be quite honest. You're mad. Because, you know what? You're too young to be smoking pot and, you know, pee-peeing in buckets and driving up and down the, the highway fast. I don't think your mom would really mind if a stranger whipped her son. You're spanking me, man. What are you doing? What are you... Doing. Woo! I'm sorry that I did that. I don't really. I don't think spanking kids is really a good thing. But you're not a child. That that's the point. You're not a child. So I can hit a grown man with a belt. So who are you dating now? You ever uh, seen that Nickelodeon thing where the slime goes down? I was in the wrong chair. 